Good morning from Breeding Tilapia in Loxahatchee. While we're breeding Tilapia in Loxahatchee, we do have to let the chickens out. The chickens can get their start this morning by starting a new day fresh. They're all going to come out and have a good morning. All right. Today we're going to cover, I guess, the topic of feeding fish. I've had quite a few questions on what I feed my fish. Now, I also have a friend of mine that's going to teach me how to edit the video because there's a lot of things I'd like to show you. One of the newest additions on breeding tilapia would be this. My neighbor gave it to me. A 7,000 gallon tilapia fish tank. Some people call it a pool. And I call it a large tilapia fish tank. All right, since I also, since I don't know how to edit, I'm going to do a walkthrough. Now, out here when we first started the fish, this is the tanks we started in. There goes mom. Now, if you look in my tanks, the tanks are full of algae. You know, a lot of people like to have nice, clean tanks, and that's nice. But these tanks are so dirty, you can't see through them. That's algae. That algae is what the fish feed off of. The fish, the way they're designed, their gills bring in the water, and the plankton and the microbes in the water feed the fish. And so this tank here is alive with good, fit, with good food and good bacteria to feed the fish. Now, all these tanks circulate together. So the only difference between this really dirty tank, as uh, people would call it, dirty tank, but the fish would call it a great environment to live in. The only difference between this tank and this tank all them little hungry fish in there are just eating all that algae. They eat all that algae. Now, if we come on over here to this tank over here, this is where our male's hanging out. You know, there's all this algae growing in here. Now, I take my net and I scoop up this algae and I drop it over here in this tank for the fish teeth. But for the but I do have different types of feed. I want to go over the feed with them. One is just an everyday, this is not my ideal choice, but it's called farmer's choice, catfish, tilapia, crawfish. It's 32% quarter inch floating fish feed. Now, if you look at the, oh yeah, 32 inch, and it, you know, it just has uh, crude fat 3.5, uh, crude fiber, 8%, moisture, 11%, not more than 11%, and phosphorus, not more than 1%. Now, here's another fish food that I try. It's, uh, if, if I can pick it up on here, it's uh, omega-1. This is a, a really good food, fish omega-1 first flake. I picked that up at a tropical fish store. Now, if you look on here, if the camera will pick it up, I don't know, I'll probably try to zoom in on where the camera, but it says 48% protein, that's what I look for, 14% fat, crude fat, and that's what I look for in tilapia food, it's your protein content, so a high protein content is very important for baby tilapia, and then this here is just another tropical fish food, it's, um, I can't pronounce the name of it, S P I R U L I N A flakes. Let's see. Let's see what the protein factor is in this one. This one here is another one with a 48% protein factor. Now, this floating fish feed, it looks like this little, little ground pellets. Now, my male tilapia, you see, there's one or two floating tablets right there he didn't eat yesterday I won't feed him no more 
because it would be wasting food and uh, it would spike the water level. Now my female over here, she's a really good eater. I just tap on the water so she knows I'm there and I give her two or three pellets. That's it. If she eats them, I'll give her more. What she doesn't consume in 15 minutes, that's it. I don't feed them anymore because that will spike the water level. Now, here, let's feed, the, let's feed the babies. See all the babies over there in the corner? Let's feed the babies. They're a little shy, but here, let's see if they'll come up today. Yeah, they're a little camera shy, but that's what they'll eat. They usually come up there and scarf that up. There they go. That's, it's falling down, and now they're getting it. You know, the little babies, now, this is the same as the pellets, the floating pellets, except I put it in the magic bullet and grinded them up, and therefore, they love that. Once again, this here tank starts over here with the bio chambers. It filters through there. I'm filtering the water to get the nitrates out and the solids out. That's all I want out. I want all the natural bacteria to grow with this tank. This tank has algae growing all over the place in it, which is absolutely great. Now, this tank is clean, spotless, because the little fish feed off of it. And another reason why I want the algae to be in this tank here is when mother has her baby, that'll give her something to eat. That'll give the baby something to eat. And this tank here, it's really easy to keep clean. You just take your little net in here, you scoop around, you know, you scoop up some of this algae like this here. After you scoop up this algae, you bring it over and you dump it back into the baby's tank. And now that babies have collapsed, they have algae they can eat. And this is my sludge collector or settlement chamber. And it comes over to here. In here, I have a little air condition filter down in there. It filters through it before it goes to the rock. Now, I don't know how long my video can be, so I'm going to shut this here off. Have a good morning from Breeding Tilapia in Loxahashie.